And the masters of the universe. All right, everybody. Today we're going to be doing a master verse tier list. Our categories are go buy it, great figure, run of the mill, eh, not for me, and trash it. And go buy it's going to be one of those ones that I feel like anybody should pick up for a reason that I will let you know while I'm sliding it into the category. Great figure explains itself. Run of the mill is going to be just kind of like your basic thing that we see used over and over again. Eh, gets towards, you know, towards the rougher end of the figures. Not for me or just ones that I don't really care for, but they're not bad figures. And then trash it is going to be something that's going to be just junk. And as far as the characters go, they're going to be rated on the actual action figure, not their role in the cartoon or uh, series or movie, depending on which Masterverse figure it is. This is part one of a two-part tier list. So let's go ahead and get started. And it looks like the first guy we got down here is going to be New Eternia Trapjaw. Or I'm sorry, New Eternia Triclops. And in my opinion, he's a really good figure. I like him. The, he's nothing uh, He's nothing run-of-the-mill. So, I think we're going to have to put him in great figure. Now, next down here, we have King Keldor. And King Keldor is one of those ones that... Some people really liked him. Some people really didn't. King Keldor was not for me. There wasn't anything specifically wrong with him. I just wasn't a fan of the face sculpt on him. I prefer Keldor with, um, I guess, the all-black long hair and not this older gray-haired version. His outfit kind of limited his articulation, so that kind of knocked some points off in that area as well. Just all in all, he's not really one that I cared too much about having. Mechanic, on the other hand, I feel like is a go buy it. He's a win. He's an awesome figure. He comes with extra neck accessories. You can pose him up all different ways. He's got that new attorney of belt style, so it's not the exact same loincloth as everybody else. In my opinion, Mechanic is one of the best figures in the line. And he's followed by Battle Armor He-Man, the new attorney of Battle Armor He-Man, which in my opinion is also one of the best figures in the line. Possibly the best He-Man in the line to date. I'm kind of torn between him and the 40th anniversary He-Man. I really enjoy both of those figures. So we'll see what happens when we get to uh, the old 40th anniversary and we'll see where he fits into this list. But right now, the new attorney of Battle Armor He-Man, definitely a go buy it. He's in stores right now. I actually have seen several of him in my, uh, excuse me, just got a notification. I have seen several of him in my uh, local Walmarts lately. If you see my toy hunt videos, you'll see him for sure all over the place. Next, we have Andra. I'm going to say, I'm going to give her a run of the mill. I said I'm not going to judge by the cartoon or anything like that and just by the action figure. So if we go just by the action figure, actually, I'm I'm going to leave her at run of the mill. I was thinking about moving her up to great figure, but I feel like maybe there should be a space in between great figure and run of the mill figure. She actually is a pretty decent figure. She comes with some pretty cool accessories. Her body articulates well. She has some soft goods. So she's really, I mean, I'm going to... I am. I'm going to, and it's, it's weird because she's a peg warmer everywhere. And I think that that is due to her role in the show. But as far as just an action figure goes and a female Masterverse character, just the stuff that she comes with and, and all in all, a uh, great action figure. Another cool one that I, I'm going to have to put up here in great figure is old pig head. He's from the Sunman line. I've really enjoyed him both in the Masterverse and the Origins versions. He's really cool. He's got an awesome head sculpt. He's just he's just something new and different. Many faces, we're going to slide right into Great Figure 2. He came with extras. He's also a peg warmer. They had him at 5 below for $5 for a while. 
believe it or not, but really cool action figure, interchangeable faces. I believe he has six different faces that you can expose in there. So pretty cool as far as that goes. Uh, this one hurts my heart because as you guys may know, Fisto, he's got a, a special place in my heart, but he is just a run of the mill figure. He does have the fist on his right hand, but other than that, he's pretty much just a standard Masterverse revelation, one of the original Masterverse figures. There's not really anything too special about him. He's just kind of run of the mill, basic figure. Stinkor. I'm going to put him at run of the mill also because as far as the villains go, he's kind of lacking a little bit. Um, he is pretty cool, but he's just, he's not in that great figure category. That's pretty much all I'm going to say about him. Scareglow. We are now on to Scareglow, and I feel like Scareglow is also a great figure. I feel like the great figure line is going to be the best. I really like the black with the white bones, his cape, and his extra high, almost Dracula style collar. Really cool, the glowing head. They did have a separate version that had glowing body as well. So depending on how much money you wanted to spend, you could get two different versions of Scareglow and both of them. Really cool figures. As for this version of Trapjaw here, we're going to trash it. I hated this version of Trapjaw. Trapjaw is one of my favorite figures too, but I feel like they just... If you mess up his face and his head, you've messed up everything. And I feel like this this was a fail. The teeth showing, just everything about it was a fail. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. We're leaving poor Trap Jaw down and trash it. I just was not a fan of this one. As well as the, the black and red uh, clothes that he came with. I understand part of the show, but we're not basing this on the show. Just the character himself. And I just didn't like it. So we're going to go ahead and go on now to Run of the Mill Triclops. I'm putting him at Run of the Mill instead of Great Figure just because the new Attorney of Triclops, I feel like, trumped this one. I like it a little bit better. So that's why he's down in Run of the Mill. He's just sharing the buck with everybody else. So nothing really too special about him. And since we did get the better new attorney version, I feel like there's no way that I could justify putting him in the great figure category. Savage He-Man. What do we do here? I'm putting him in eh. I feel like Savage He-Man had a good head sculpt. He had way too much wash on him, just really looked dirty, but I guess that's kind of part of what it's going for. If you have the figure, you'll know what I'm talking about, though. There were just spots where the wash was just caked on too much, and it just looked bad. I feel like this figure should have been larger. He should have been the same size or maybe even a little bit larger than Skelegod. And they had the buck style for that body, so there was no reason to give us a run-of-the-mill buck with a new head sculpt and some bare feet for this Savage He-Man. He was just kind of a disappointment for me. I did pick him up. I do love He-Man, so I'm going to get all the versions of He-Man. But he was just kind of an eh character for me. Now, this Skeletor right here, I'm going to put him in great figure. I'm not going to put him in go buy it. But this is one of my favorite versions of Skeletor that Masterverse has come out with. I really like this head sculpt. The armor's great. The tone of the skin is really nice. I just feel like they hit the mark with this one. I'm not going to put it in Go Buy It, but he's definitely close. He's a great figure just on the edge of Go Buy It. Clamp Champ. We're going run of the mill here because just like Fisto, Clamp Champ just seems to be a run of the mill figure. Um, I don't like his weapon accessory attachment thing, the claw thing that he has, the clamp. I'm not a big fan of it. And his face just looks sad. For some reason, they've given him a very sad facial expression. So he's just a run-of-the-mill figure. Nothing too special about him. So that's where he's going to land for me, guys. New Attorney of Man-at-Arms. Run-of-the-mill. He was something special, I feel like, at first. He was a, a special character compared to the first version of Man-at-Arms that we got. But now that we've experienced more of the new Eternia line, he's just kind of run-of-the-mill for me. Man-at-Arms is another one of my characters. 
that I've enjoyed since childhood. Always been one of my favorites, but kind of a run-of-the-mill character for me. Skeletex going in, eh. He's another one kind of like Savage He-Man. I'm going to get him. I'm going to own him because he is Skeletor. But it was just, I didn't, I don't like the way that the arm functions with the Havoc Staff on his right arm. How that's just one big piece. Um, we do have a review for most of these figures, if not all of these figures, up on the channel. If you guys want to go check the reviews out for them, you'll kind of be able to see what I'm talking about a little bit better. But his right arm doesn't really have any hinges or anything like that in it. Other than his right, if it wasn't for his right arm, um, I probably would put him in great figure. Because other than that big Havoc Staff integrated right arm, I really did like this version of Skeletor. Sorceress Tila, run of the mill. She's going run of the mill too. I don't know, I just wasn't really impressed with this figure. I just want a traditional Tila. I... I think that that's what most of us want is a Tila that just kind of reminds us of that vintage Tila and not so much all these different ways that they're wanting to take Tila. But cool figure, um, but she's just run of the mill when it comes down to it. Web Store. Now, Web Store, he is definitely a go buy it. If you see Web Store somewhere, especially at regular retail prices, pick him up. For whatever reason, he has become a chase rare ultra hard to find figure and the price for him is ridiculous i understand he's cool he comes with cool attachments but there's people asking a hundred dollars for that figure which i think is bonkers for a masterverse figure but he is a very cool one um and if he wasn't in go buy it he would still be in great figure it has nothing to do with his rarity he is a great figure and i recommend that you go buy him Now, Prince Adam, I'm going to put him in great figure as well. I think that he's a good version of Adam. I like that he's not the exact same size as He-Man. I still would like to have them give us a kind of vintage version of Prince Adam that is based off of the same buck as He-Man and not this teenager child buck. But that's my opinion. I'm going to keep it short on Prince Adam. I think he's a great figure for what he is. New Eternia Trap Jaw. This guy's, um, I'm probably going to have to stick him right at Go Buy It. He's awesome. Trap Jaw, one of my favorites for sure. Uh, and the new Eternia version of Trap Jaw is absolutely amazing. The head sculpt is amazing. The arm, the color blue of this skin, just all around a really great figure. I'm probably going to just go ahead and take him and slide him. Oh, it won't let me. Can I move this guy over this way? Yes, I can. So let's just go ahead and rotate these fellas down until I can have Trap Jaw just in that number one slot because I really enjoy this figure. Now, when it comes to the new version of Hordak, um, we can't really call him run of the mill because we haven't seen anything like him. I'm, I'm going to put him in A. This is my personal tier list, so I guess I'm going to do it. Hordak, just like He-Man, just like Skeletor. He's one that I'm going to pick up because it's Hordak, one of the mains, one of my favorites. But this version of Hordak is lacking for me. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep it there. Uh, moving on. Cyclone, great figure. Came with a lot of cool stuff. Um, I like his skin tone on his face. He comes with a mask to cover up the face, something new and different. So great figure is Cyclone. He's part of that new wave that should be coming out soon. The re excuse me, the review for this guy, Leech, it will be up on the channel pretty soon. Um, I just haven't got it edited and uploaded yet, but when I do, you'll see it. And here are my thoughts on Leech. He is definitely a go by it. A lot of people were upset. He was a little bit smaller. He is shorter than some of the other figures. That doesn't bother me at all. He's a super awesome figure. The The different color skin tones, the, everything about him is awesome. I, I really recommend checking that video out. I also bring in an Origins character to kind of compare, contrast, and part swap with him. But really cool figure. If I didn't have to go through and swipe all these guys to the right again, here I can just slap two no it's not letting me do it we're not going to worry about that right now but 
go by it. I feel like even though he's a little bit smaller, that scale's nice. It busts up that seven inch line going straight across everywhere. We need different scales. These people weren't all exactly the same height. So to make some a little taller and make some a little shorter makes perfect sense to me. I think Web Store is another that probably could have benefited from being a little bit smaller of a figure, but not gonna rant about it. Just gonna move right along, but Leech, definitely a go buy it. Thunder Punch He-Man. Now, this is a little bit hard for me. Uh, I have not received my Thunder Punch He-Man. I've seen pictures of him and stuff online. I haven't actually received him in hand. What I can tell you, though, is I really like him. The only thing that I'm not the biggest fan of is the head sculpt, and the head sculpt of the He-Man action figures uh, themselves is one of the hardest ones to pull off. So, I'm going to put him in run of the mill for a new Eternia until... I actually get him in hand. He may move to a different spot, but I foresee him staying right there at run of the mill. He's just a basic new attorney of figure. Now, as far as this version of Merman, we did get another version of Merman, and we're supposed to have another version on the way. This one was not for me. Another, uh, just a little out of the realm. I didn't like him without the armor, the scratched up eye kind of just into the revelation show a little bit more and maybe he would have stood out a little bit more as one that I liked but as far as he goes in this action figure what he came with he's a not for me um and actually I have not picked him up yet still to this day even being a completionist of the series so he is one that I'm going to have to hunt down but not really for me Now we have this version of Beast Man, which was the first version of Beast Man that came out. We do have another Beast Man that has come out since this one. But this version of Beast Man right here is probably just a not for me also. I didn't like it. I don't like the braided beard. I don't like the aspect, the way that they went with this Beast Man. Just give me Beast Man. The regular old Beast Man. The vintage looking Beast Man. Not this new guy. He could be a completely new figure as far as I'm concerned. Or a member of Beast Man's tribe if, if he has a tribe. So not Beast Man himself. I just, that just doesn't say Beast Man to me. However, a lot of people like him. Just not for me. Now we've got Tila, uh, Mohawk, comb over, side shaved version. Um, for this one, I'm going to say trash it. As far as Tila goes, this is definitely my least favorite version of Tila. Um, just don't really like anything about it at all. It kind of reminded me of a Star Wars action figure much more than a Masterverse action figure. So maybe it would rank up higher in the list if it were supposed to be that. But it's not. It's supposed to be tied in with He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. And I just really wasn't feeling this character. All right, now the wave, the first edition of Man at Arms that we got, I think he was a really good character. I don't really have anything to complain about him. And actually, for the time, if we go back to the time that he came out, I feel like he was a good character, and I actually prefer his armor over that of the new attorney of Man at Arms that we had to sling down in run of the mill. So. I don't know what to say. That is what it is. I prefer that man at arms over the new attorney at man at arms. I would rather have him all day long. Next on the list, we have Spike Orr, and Spike Orr, I think, is just a run of the mill character. Uh, he does have a pretty cool head sculpt, but other than that, everything else is just that basic uh, Revelation Masterverse buck. So nothing too impressive there. When it comes to Viking Skeletor, he is another one that I think is a is a underrated figure, and as far as my opinion goes, he's definitely a go by it. One of the best Skeletors in the line, actually a little better than the one below him that I said probably has one of the best head sculpts in the line, this one right here, but this one up here, the Viking Skeletor, he did come with an additional head sculpt, so you could switch it to the original style Skeletor head if you wanted. I actually have two of these guys posed up two completely different ways, um, one with each head, so, and kind of the armor a little different, so 
I really enjoyed this version of Skeletor. As far as Skeletors go, he may be my favorite in the Masterverse line to date. Speaking of my favorite in the line to date, we now have this version of Tila, and I think she is a great figure. This is the Tila that I wanted. This is the Tila that we asked for. She does have a different head sculpt with her normal style tiara, so um, don't let that picture throw you off. She did come with a hair up, hair down style picture or head sculpt, so this was the Tila that I think everybody wanted. Hopefully you guys got a hold of her because she is a really cool figure. As far as Viking He-Man goes, I can't say as good of things about Viking He-Man as I did about Viking Skeletor. I think he's a great figure. I think almost everything about him is awesome other than the heads. The head with the helmet on looks better than the head with the helmet off. I really don't like the head with the helmet off. So, my opinion, great figure. Love the outfit. Love the stuff that comes with him. But, um... The helmet off head was just a throwaway. Now we've got Evil Lynn, one of my favorite female villains, but again, I want to just say run of the mill female character. As you guys know, if you've seen the channel, I customized mine. I had to take some parts from some different figures, cut some pieces off of her, and I finally got her a way that I feel like is acceptable. So she's just a run of the mill female Masterverse character. The first version of Skeletor other than Skelegod that we got in the Masterverse line. I think he kind of shocked a lot of people. His whole body sculpt was nice, but that head sculpt, it was just kind of eh. That's what I feel about that. He is Skeletor, so I got him, but that is probably my least favorite head sculpt for him. If they would have made that head glow in the dark, I think that would have been a little bit better and, and adjusted the way that the hood is around the head could have helped as well. But all in all, he's just a eh, figure. Battle Cat, I say buy him and you can find him for cheap. He's like nine bucks at Ross. I would say get him. He's a large Battle Cat, one of the best versions of Battle Cat that we've had. So I definitely recommend picking him up. The Sorceress, I think she's a great figure as well. Um, she was another one that was at five below, only five dollars somehow, but a really great figure. I think that uh, definitely worth five dollars, definitely worth the twenty dollars that she was when she originally came out. Blows my mind that she made it down to five below. Shadow Weaver, another one that made it to five below, and I understand why. She's just kind of an eh for me at least now she may be somewhere else on your list but for me she's just kind of an eh then we come down to a moss man who i really enjoyed i think moss man's a great figure i'm gonna put him up here in great figures he's got his completely own body sculpt he had his own hands his own feet they completely did their own thing for moss man and made him kind of special like some of these other guys here so he's also going in great figure not necessarily go buy it worthy, but he's definitely unique how Moss Man always is. And uh, I definitely say he's a great figure. Now we come down to the Wave 1 original Masterverse He-Man. I can't put him in go buy it. I can't put him in great figure. I gotta slap him in run of the mill. He is just a run of the mill wave or revelation buck He-Man. His face sculpt is kind of off. I feel like maybe this face and body would have been good to use as Prince Adam. Just give us a pink coat, some white shirt, and some uh, purple pants. Let us use this guy as Prince Adam. And then I think that new battle armor, new Eternia battle armor He-Man, or the 40th anniversary He-Man, could be his transformed version. I just feel like with that head sculpt and that small chested buck, that we got in the beginning of the Revelation Masterverse series. I feel like he would have made a great Prince Adam. But this is my list. This is what I'm thinking so far, guys. Uh, we can rotate it up. Only two made it into the trash it aisle. And that's that one trap jaw with the messed up jaw. And then that Tila. We're going to go ahead and swipe back one up just so we can see where everybody else is. But there's the final look at the list. I think that uh, I think we made some solid choices here. If I was going to change anything else and put anything else in a different spot, it would probably be I would move this Tila up to a go buy it 
just so you can kind of complete that core set of characters. You got a Skeletor, you got a He-Man, you got a Man-at-Arms, you got a Tila, and you got a Trapjaw. And you got a Battle Cat up there in the Go Buy It. So I feel like that's a pretty good setup right there. And uh, that's probably how I would adjust it. So thank you guys for checking out the video. Don't forget to tell someone you love them. Have a blessed day. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Notifications on. More tier lists coming. Toy hunt uploading soon. We'll catch you later, guys.